There is a reason for that. We use our strawberry pie for all of how this boat can power up. Okay. So we'll spin around, go very deep for the hoist. Maybe Richard could call it and uh come on guys pick up come on I've got that's it come on take it up take it up come on take it up take it up come up you're there mate all right It's already set for five. The start. Yeah, me time to start. Right, right, I got it. it. You got it? Yeah. Where, where's our start boat? Is it on station? It's a, it's a club. Yeah, I... How far they're tackling is up to Killer. So, so what you do today? Here's what I did today. The first is I got on with uh, Summer Camp on the Spectator boat, and I wore out my welcome there. And then I got on with Jay Hooper on the, the bigger, and they had drinks and shrimp. And did you have those in the race boats? And uh, the boats were finally getting up near the Windward Bar. It took a little while. And it was a red IOD that was further back. So I jumped on with them and you could see we didn't catch up, but anyway, I tried. But anyway, it was a nice day. It looked good out there from the starting line, going past the hotel. And uh, those America's Cup boats are gonna have a tough time keeping up with you. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm announcing the winner, right? I don't know where they get names like Nasty Medicine. And, uh, but they sure had an expert helmsman aboard the boat. Guy Briere, I don't call him Guy anymore, Guy. <laughs> and the team was on board with him. And they had, a, and they had a pro, pro Scotty Murray on this boat. Jimmy Wade, Joy Wade, Blaine DeHagen, Mark Walsh, Dave Irvin, Robert Kotler, and Alan Warren Jr. I mean, this was a crew. Come on up, we'll get your picture with your main team. I got it. The goal, I wish everyone passed me in fundraising. Okay? This, this year, this year in personal fundraising, I was fifth. Last year, I was fifth. But a couple people passed me up, and you know what? I love it. If I'm gonna raise 50, you know, 40, 50,000 dollars a year, if 30 people pass me up, you know how much more money we'd raise? I love when somebody passed me up. So, so, and I told that story at a, at a gathering of LLS staffers in New Orleans after Gary came and did our kickoff, and they had all the staffers from around the country come and, and do a, a seminar, that, uh, we just happened to be at our club. And after it was over, one of them, and I won't say which one at all it was, but she says, you know what, will you give a challenge to my group? And I said, absolutely. And this was a, an area that has a lot of money. And New Orleans really doesn't have a lot of money. But, so I said, okay. And so she gets a little iPhone out and she's 
videotaped me and she's, and I said, okay, if you idiots can't beat us with all the money you have where you are, you'd be ashamed of yourself. If you'll, you, we beat your, we, I might have said kicked your ass, but uh, I, you know, if you'll beat us this year, I'm going to give you a bottle of rum. And they did. And I was excited. We moved down the list and I was excited. I, I'd love to be where San Francisco is. I'd love to be there. And maybe one day we will be. And I think with our leadership we have this year with Blaine Hagen and, and Bob Kotler and, and the rest of my team, we may move up there. But so I made a challenge every year. Whoever finished behind us last year and beats us this year gets a bottle of rum. So we did pretty good this year. We were up 11%. But Eastport, but Eastport Annapolis went from 183,000 to 266,000, up 45%. So John Dodge, come up here and get your bottle of rum, buddy.